Hi and welcome back guys, in the last episode we made this monstrosity right here And for those who don't know or can't tell what it is, it's a, a smelter So what we're going to do is, first of all start off with a few little things we need to do So this should all be full of fuel So we're just going to put the coal in here, wait for it to stack up a bit And then in the, whilst in the meantime, let's go back over here Ow, ow, okay there we go uh, Oh, hello uh, Let's get back on the horse Let's go over here. I think it's... Is it the same as like a golden apple, maybe? Or is it nuggets? Ah, okay, so it's nuggets. That's a lot easier and a lot more accessible. So let's make all of those into nuggets. Probably didn't need that many. Let's make half a stack. Oops. Um, This should be fine. Oh, well, then, there you go. So golden carrots. You could probably make all of them into golden carrots. Seeing that, so... 37, 17, uh, and then 9. Perfect. Oh, wait. Hang on. There we go. Okay. That took a little bit longer than I had to. <laughs> and then let's make the rest of them back into bars. Perfect. So, hopefully by now all those coal, the cobble should be in here, which they are. So just turn it on and off it goes. It's a bit slow to start with and then it just picks up pace. So that is then going to go into here and dispense. So that is perfect, just like that. So now, whilst as I walk into the wall, um, let's go over to the mesa and we'll fix up a few things. So let's, uh, let's break that down. Oh, also, I am level 38, so... I understand I'm getting quite sidetracked, so we'll first of all see what enchants we can get. I'm pretty sure a diamond um, a diamond sword is probably going to be best right now because I don't actually have an enchanted version. Hopefully some lapis somewhere. It's probably downstairs with all the other stuff. I really need to sort out these chests. I'll probably do that off camera though, eventually. So um, I really do want to put that on a horse. So first thing, whilst getting satur sat uh, saturated... Sidetracked once again. Let's get these ones down. By the way, that is what it looks like. So we've got to put some sand over that. So another little thing we have to do. So the first thing we're going to do is put these away like that. Um, go down here. And I think in this episode, I want to start the path down to the spider farm. So I thought of a small idea for that. So we'll get that going in just a bit. Um... So yeah, we need... First of all, let's see what enchants we can get. So is it... There it is. Perfect. So yeah, I, um, if you guys did enjoy that tutorial, which I posted yesterday... Sharpness 4. Perfect. There we go. I don't mind that at all. Um, let's also do another diamond pick whilst we're here. Got plenty of sticks. Um, if you guys did enjoy the tutorial yesterday, please remember to comment on that video and say that you want more, or say that I'm terrible and I should never do it again, because I, I read all the comments, and yeah. Uh, so that is a Unbreaking 3. Let's, let's risk it for a biscuit. Unbreaking Efficiency 4. Okay, so, nice. Um... But that's still better. Oh, wait, I know what we can do. Uh, Amble right there. So let's see how much this is. So that's 40 levels and that's 24. So let's do that one first. That's efficiency 5 and breaking 3. Perfect. And let's see how much those are together. Nice. So that is pretty much the perfect bow. So let's. First of all, let's put away this fishing rod. Let's put it in this one so we know where it is. Even though I'll eventually up uh, misplacing it. No, my luck. Uh, arrows, 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 no, hello, there we go, there's some, so yeah, what I want to do first of all is get some, let's go into the nether and get to the mesa biome and we'll try and get some more blocks, we don't actually have that many at the moment, oh, just got a new achievement, very nice, and I'm back, I got some resources and can I just say how good this bow is, I mean it doesn't help my aim, but it really doesn't help my aim. It really doesn't help my aim. But it one-shots the mobs. Um, what, what colour is this? Cyan? Oh, light grey. 
Hi, this color. We might use it for something. Um, so I will be updating to the snapshot soon enough. Um, once it's to an update where I like it, um, and it's like stable enough that I don't need to make a a copy of the world. Wait, that looks like a. Is that just another? They're spawning right in front of me. Oh god. Oh god. Um, probably shouldn't be doing this at night, but then that is half the challenge. I've got pretty good, um, stuff right now, so I don't mind doing it exactly. Uh, but yeah. So, gonna get a bit of materials, but today we're gonna work, like I said earlier, on the path down to the thing. And I'm gonna try and do everything a bit more organic, like I even got a topic to talk about. I'm going to talk about communities, and how they pretty much manage the game. Like, for example, uh, before I played... Uh, Minecraft, like, as my only game, like, series. like currently I'm playing uh, Minecraft in CSGO, but um, CSGO I'm not very good at, or Minecraft really, um, but yeah, so the communities in each game, I don't know if you've seen how the Minecraft community is, because it's based at, like, it's, although the people that play the game are more um, older than, as people will think, the main demographic and the main people that play it are younger people so the community definitely does speak uh definitely does act more pg and more like friendly and i think that's a good thing really for example um let's uh let's snipe this one off for example league of legends which is another game i played a lot before just devoutly playing um minecraft it wasn't like it was a fine community oh actually you're, you're still alive i don't like you there we go um but I was saying, when I used to play uh, League of Legends, the community was just so toxic. And it was just no... You had five people on a team, and then it was just against the five other people. But Minecraft is so much more open, and therefore I think it's got such a better community. And I think that's such a better idea for it as a brand, mainly. Um, so yeah, I think that's what I'm going to... I think that's a good little tool. But the problem with this spider farm, the main one I can think of, where I want to put it, or where I want to put the entrance, and where I'm going to put going downstairs to it, is in a bit of an awkward place. Like, I think it's directly on top of it. I think. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm like 90% sure it is. So, I'm going to go over there and do some F3 coordinate things. But yeah, I'll see you in a second. Alright, and we're back. So the first thing I'm going to do, and thing I should have done probably as soon as I did it, is the reason why we went over to Mesa is to get this and put this down like that. So it's like one continuous line. And I think what I want to do now, because I've seen that, is we might as well change this one to brown stain clay. Because I think that's going to make it look a lot better and a lot more... Um... Ooh, that was a bit weird. My mouse just went up... A couple, like, flicked up. That was pretty weird. Um, so yeah. But this, where this is gonna go, like us so. Oh, lovely. Just like how it continues. I'll probably do the same thing on this side so it doesn't look so, um, irregular. So, what is this thing we're gonna do today? So, it's a, it's a staircase. And I just noticed that those torches are off. Oh, well. So, let's break open this. And so that's gonna be the middle of the staircase. I think I'm gonna go... Three wide on one side. Oh wait, three wide on one side and three wide on another. Like a so. Was three wide too much? No, it's not. So now I'm gonna. Um, what I'm gonna do is I want to have it so it goes down, splits in the middle around about four blocks down, and then. Um. So it's going to go like this. So have that like so. And then these ones are taken out of the ground. This horse is going to be really annoying. I can just tell it. Let's go over that way. So that goes down like that. So it's a lot like. So seven wide. So it's quite. It's definitely quite wide. It's going to split down the middle. Um, probably the next one. I was about to say this one, but I don't think I'm going to like it like that. Um, where is it? Are you going to... Which one's the middle? This one's the middle. So let's, uh, let's mark this one up. 
as this horse gets really annoying in my in the way. So let's break these two, like a so. Let's break these, and then this is then. So in the next one. Oh, I accidentally broke that. Well, it's fine because we had um, we have now the smooth stone smelting, and hopefully that should all be um, finished, complete toad. So yeah, this is now. Oh, I need to break the walls anyway, so that's not matter. So I'm gonna excavate this area, and then I will come back with what I have the design for. Hey, I found a mine. Let's go exploring. Um, actually, first of all, before I do anything abrupt and lose stuff let's go and drop off all this useless blocks so in here before I need one stack let's get let's keep some sticks on us because we we'll always do with some more want a stack of that and let's remove that and let's go oh let's go mining woo okay so gonna be so yeah I didn't get much farther before I found this but I know I'm what's gonna happen is I'm going to get all the way done and then only eventually once I've got full kitted and probably ending the series I will find this cave again and it is absolutely nothing I mean we found some coal which is always good it sounds like there's a witch in the next room so or the next area so let's just leave that and I'll come back with this being done and then the floor is going to be quite awkward just because so yeah, I'll come back oh wait is that just a set oh I think I know what that is that is um the hole in the floor. Clearly it's a hole in the floor. But I know what I mean. Yeah, so that's the one that directly underneath the base. So the door should just be like there or something. I'm sure we've seen it in a video once or twice. But yeah, so having a bit further, I'll do it, uh, do it when I come back. But this is what I was thinking. So then that's going to be like that. Um, and then, oops, and then another two along like so and this is all going to go up to the roof so it's not going to look like just a single block which you can jump on and then eventually get trapped in the middle so i don't need to mine those ones out and then this is just going to go out in this direction for like one or two blocks so the only difficult thing is going to be the actually i'll probably say that doing that would look better so what i'm going to do is like with this thing over here with it, but this is going to go down first of all. Oh, that looks a bit... Is that out of line? No, it's not. It's just because the torches are out of place. Oh, well. So, whilst we're here, let's see how this looks whilst that goes to the ceiling. So, you can see that as this clear, there's a clear divide, yeah. I think that's definitely the way to go. And then... Um, so, then... No, don't want that one as that. I need that one as... There we go, perfect. And is that two wide or three wide? But yeah, I think this is where the horse... Actually, no, I'm going to go down a couple more blocks. Like a... I think I'm going to leave that side currently because I don't want to do with it. But I know on this side, what I want is this one to go down to the spider farm. So it's going to be a bit awkward, but I think it's going to work out. So I will come back with my area done. Alright guys, so this is what I've done. So I found this nice little cave which leads directly on top of uh, the spawner here. So what I'm going to think of doing is mine out these two layers here. I dug down like a square. I will show, I can't really show you it. Actually I can. Uh, so what I've done is basically hollow out the top bit. So what I want to do is have this layer here as a viewing platform. So I have it as glass and there's a few other things I want to do with glass over here as well. I want to also need to have a little stop for my horse. I need to make the roof for high. Um, and then over here just as well. It's very it's it was a very weird generation um of this cave. Is this water feature here, which is absolutely fine. I don't mind it. I'm gonna keep it there. However, I'm gonna replace all these blocks and have uh, all these blocks and replace it with glass. So this bottom layer is gonna become like that one there, but the, all the other ones are gonna be like one more forward. So this eventually over here would be all glass, so it basically protects me. I kind of like the idea of running through here and then suddenly there's a mob on your head or something like that. Um, over here it's just a bit dirty. I haven't really had time to 
brush it up. Um, this is all going to be placed with stone or grass, sorry. And then over here is the bottom of that. So yeah. Um, reason why this isn't. Oh, hello. That scared the hell out of me there. Um, and die. And die. There we go. Um, but yeah. So whilst we are here, let's block this off and put a light down and a couple more just just, just in case. So this is where the horse table is going to be. Um, this is all going to be uh, grass. But the first thing I want to do is uh, see how this staircase looks with stone bricks. So inventory is pretty damn full at the moment. But don't worry, that shouldn't be that much of a problem. Let's get back in here. Let's get the horse. Um, and let's go down here. Because from the start of the episode, this thing was working like so, and all of the stone should be smelted, which it is. Back on the horse, and this this first tunnel was all man-made, so it's not that far, but the one downstairs is a lot further. So that's, oh, hello. So that's a lot better. So let's make this all into stone, because unfortunately there is no just normal regular stone uh, stairs. And let's make these all into stairs now. One last one. Oh wait, I can make some more now. Nice. I think I'm going to be using all these because it's not only on this one side over here, it's also on this side. I think the first thing I want to do though is see how that looks as a divider. I think it looks fine to be honest. Um, so yeah, let's see how this looks. I was thinking of basing the middle one at the middle ones of these with um, the white stained clay to see how that looks, but I think that's just gonna look a little bit naff to be honest. Um, and then let's do this. Um, how, do, how am I gonna do this? Um, I want it to look nice mainly, that's the whole point of doing this. It's not supposed to be 100% functional, um, but of course, if something doesn't, I'd much rather having it. Oh, I'm not going to do with that. I'm going to make it a slab on the corner. And if you don't know what I mean, oops, a daisy. I'll show you what I mean in just a second. Um, but yeah, so so far it's a good video. Sorry, um, I have basically not been as vocal as I normally am. Like constantly over. Yeah, that went right the bottom. Good. Um, normally, I'm a lot more. Uh, enthusiastic about these things but unfortunately I had a long day I've had a nice day out there so that's fine um, probably place this one with a slab as well so I can just run at the corner there and also this one it's just that perfect so yeah um, what we'll do now is we pro whilst we were over there we probably should have um, let's get back on the horse oh hello and there we go And drop this off and put the rest of the cobble which we found earlier in here. Uh, and I got some coal as well, so that's absolutely fine. Of course, it's not the most functional thing, however, I think it's better. Th it's, something, it's something that I made and I didn't use anyone else's design for it, so I'm really proud of myself. I'm also here, I got a fair amount of andesite actually. Um, also, actually, that's a good thing. I killed some skeletons, didn't I? So let's go over here and just green up the area slightly. So it looks a little bit nicer than it did before. Still want to add some... Yeah, see, that's better. That's tons better. Wow. That actually looks... Uh... I'm surprised that made that much of a difference, actually. But it's just all these little things. There's like stuff down here, which just makes it look a little bit nicer. So yeah, what I'll do now is just try and get some things smelted. I'll try and get some uh, glass smelted. Because I think this is all fine, actually. It's just a few things that might cause a bit of a problem. And then I will... I probably won't do the spider spawn in this episode. However, I will get... Oh. Hello, you don't seem that interested in me. Oh, there you go. One shot. Um, where did you spawn from? I guess it was just here then, I guess. Oh no, it's from up there, isn't it? Yeah, there you are. Oh, you have a friend. Yeah, it's just, it's, just, it's such a good um, bow. 
But what I'll do now is probably as I try and think of inspiration, I will... Oh, and what else to do? I'll probably just do an hour AFK session at the fish farm. So yeah, I'll, I'll be back. Okay, I am back. And as you can see, I've gone up 23 levels. Lovely jubbly. And I've had a little nap. So I'm, I'm very nice and rested, even though I probably shouldn't. And damn, look at all this stuff. So being out for us for... I mean, that's going to be quite good because it's, it's, it's a spider farm. Oh, damn. That's pretty good. Uh, let's see if there's anything else. Do you know what I will do? I will collect... Oh, yeah. Let's check all these. That's punch. That's nice. Wait, is there mending on this? No, there is not. Um, so that's mending on breaking. So that might be a, a doable one. A luck see law. I don't think I need anything else on this. No, it's just books, really, that we're looking after. Or trying to look for. But damn, this is a... Definitely a very full chest. Efficiency 4. I can get um, efficiency 5 on my pickaxe. I mean, on my shovel. Very nice. Wow. Power and sharpness on the same book. Oh, I want that, actually. Um, let's see if there's anything else whilst we... I probably should have checked all these. These should all be... Oh, I need... I'll leave that in there. Oh, I don't need that. Uh, yes, yeah, so let's get the fish. And let's get up to back up to the area and i think what i'm gonna do for the rest of this episode because um i've just checked it's around about 20 minutes long currently and i'm really sorry again i seem to be apologizing a lot in these videos recently that see that's why i wanted like the i left that like that so when we go past it's just like a little zombie noise um but yeah so what was i saying um i can't remember oh professional video maker here um that's uh as we found out in a previous episode. Oh, where's my horses? So, wait, wait, I've lost one? Maybe? Okay, so there's no tunnel and opens, hopefully. Oh, that's what I was going to do. Let's, um... There should be the rest of the, um... As I think of the word. The smooth stone is better. And you know what? I think I quite like the way how it looks. Yeah, so there we go. So just need to flick that up. And, yep, yeah, so that is perfect right there. And whilst we are here, I forget we can do it on from this side, is we can just put in the raw fish like so. And then let's put that up and put that one down. Perfect. So as you get that starting to cook, um, I definitely picked it up. That is good. Come on, horsey. You seem to be running away from me. That is no good. That's not a trust relationship right there, man. Um, or go. I think it's a man. I, I, I definitely checked all my horses. Um, but yeah, so... Let's make some slabs, because that's what we were doing in the last little bit. It's been probably two hours since I lasted a, the last little cutaway. And that is mainly because I had a little nap, and then I went to play some other games. See, that's fine. That looks absolutely normal. And then that just comes down. Um, whilst I am here, though, I think I will replace all this with smooth stone, because I don't like the way how the um, cobble look. I think I want that middle one as just regular stone brick. So let's replace that one now. I mean, it's really easy to know where it goes, at least. I suppose that's one positive of using, um, using uh, like, cobble as a placeholder, mainly. So, yeah. The more you know, and the more you learn. Because I think this game is a whole bunch about learning. Like, it is so... It's so amazing how this game, which was, um... Which was literally just sandbox, has become the game it has today. Like... It's amazing how people can make a living off of it, and I think that's more... Oh wait, actually... Uh, oh, I have more slabs, perfect. Um, what I'm going to do is actually just put the rest of these here, and of course I'm one... Uh, well, okay, so yeah, just one short, that's absolutely fine. Um, so, down here, I think what I'm going to do for this episode, well, what's left of it, is just try and get a general area for what we want to do. So, if you can remember the things from the last episode, we need a minimum of four high, because that is the dismount height of a horse, where you don't start taking damage. So, I think that's absolutely fine right there. Let's cut off those. So, it's, it's looking quite square, but I think that's going to be fine. I really want it to be like, you go down, you look left, bam, horse. Um, so, what I am going to do is... Try and make this a look, 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 I can't actually speak, that was a really weird stammer. <laughs> look a little more natural, so let's get this iron as well, because now we've got that smelter, it makes everything a lot more easier. Um, so we just need to try and make this look like a normal 
wall. There we go. Perfect. Nice and simple. And that is going to be... I suppose we could have something down here. Maybe like a chest. Um, but that is going to be three high. So that's not where the horse is going to be. Well, it can't. Well, it can. He can have a little stroll down here. Or she. I think... I don't know what gender this um, this next horse is going to be. Because I haven't... I haven't chosen him or her. I need to name tag all my horses as well so we can get closer. Because that is very important. Whenever you get a new animal or anything really, always give it a name so then it feels more and more human. Uh, oh, what? Oh, hello, cave. Probably should be using my smooth stone for this, but then I eventually want everything to be uh, smooth anyway, so it doesn't really matter. I don't need to go that low down though so oh i'll just put grass over the top of it i'm sure that's gonna annoy some of you but <laughs> oh well so yeah i think this is gonna be fine for the area actually just cut across i want this uh i want this one to be a little bit more natural than the uh, other ones which we still need to finish unfortunately because i am um, i've been putting it off for for too long really how does that look? Yeah, that looks fine. Um, let's just... And we'll... I'll tell you what we can do. It's at the back of these to make it look more horse-friendly. I want this area to be like a little horse's play area. <laughs> that looks fine. That's, that's, that entire area is going to be... I'll probably cut a uh, wooden it off here like that. And then have the horse over here and have like little hay bales in the corner. Have a little light source. That's the thing we need. Lights. There, there we go. Torches. Because I feel like if not, I'm just going to get spawned upon. And then um, I'll do this all for the next episode. I'll just try and straighten up this path. Because once we still have some time left, let's go back up and choose a horse. And I'll choose a name for it as well. And I think... Oh, wait. I need to go... Okay, so this is the problem of having such like a... I understand it doesn't really look it yet. However, it's going to become a very complicated and um, mazy-like base in the end. So this one is going to be... It's going to be annoying constantly having to go forth and back uh, from places just to get one thing. Like, for example, we're going all this way just to get a... We'll get a few, actually. Like... Quite a few. Um, five in there. Any in here? No. No. Fortunately, we've got tons of saddles. So that's really good. So how many do we get? We've got 29 in the end. So that is definitely... Definitely something pretty good. Especially if like, you can only get them from um, dungeons. I think it's a little bit... I think it's such a cute thing to add. So, yeah. Uh, let's go back over. And I think I'm going to name... the This new horse that we're going to put in the underground area to the mob farm. And the... Another horse that we're going to put in. Oh, hello. I think I just did this one previously. <laughs> so let's name two horses. Let's name the one down um, in the tunnel next to the Osmaga Furnace to the name of my dog, Monty. And I think I'm going to name this one the name of a very good friend of mine, Pat. It's a girl. It is a girl name. It's short for Patricia. So if anyone, <laughs> if anyone wonders. So... Uh, let's do Monty first. Ego Monty. He's going to be scratching at my door in a minute. I'm calling it. Uh, and then... Are you... How fast are you? You're plenty fast enough. Ow. So yeah, let's see how well you like your new home. So this is going to be your area. It's quite big, actually. So you are Pat. Hello, Pat. So yeah, there we go, guys. Um, so that's going to be the end of this episode. If you guys did enjoy this video... Sorry for not doing much. Um... These next couple of episodes, I have a bunch of time to work on. So that is definitely going to be... I'm going to put so much work into them. I want every episode to be minimum of 30 minutes. I want to get something done in each episode. So going on to the grind to, to uh, episode 20. Um, hopefully we can get this done. But this is going to be the end of this episode. If you guys did enjoy this video, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next adventure. Peace.